here we are pre-market and today happens to be a good day it's 720 of 2011 and we've been in one month of the summer rally we had bull rallies and we pulled back in the bull rally and we're heading back up from that overbought process we'll talk about the indexes and things like that later right now we're going to deal with the pre-market gap apple blowout quarter isrg delivered they had upgrades amazon.com will be reporting earnings soon um so the gap open list at 1.00 wins got a dollar gap of course we had a great great earnings and they really uh mmt's learned how to short that good news and they brought it down yesterday from 172 dollars and some change to clear down to 160 point whatever it was but it was right there in that neighborhood and basically knowing that they had upgrades on when the other day we bought that Google diminishing gap should be gap and higher uh, prints went off at uh, 60570 we still own it uh, we'll have profit objectives there we'll have profit objectives uh, on when we will go over the earnings so it's all about when they hit the highs on the sign up yesterday was a great short all day all day long what we'll look for is the invert of yesterday's short to where the bears get squeezed. The Dow futures are up right now, uh, 50 handles. They were up 77. The NASDAQ futures were up about 22, and they have pulled back off of their highs. Uh, S&P is at 13.27, up 6.5 handles. We're going to have some resistance in that S&P. We talked about that if equities were to deliver bottom line growth, as we have all that analysis before the earnings season started, well, we're see, seeing some of those, uh, we're seeing some of that move where that S&P was a great trade down there. It got right below the neckline of that 1300. Remember, the upside of the S&P is 1360. If we continue to get bellwether earnings out of other uh, key sectors. The uh, CMG trade, which was extremely overbought, it gapped down. It was it got a new, even though that the food inflation is a big driver on that. Watch that CMG today because basically when they hit off of that bottom, they're going to rip that thing up. That Netflix has been range bound because it reports earnings on the 25th of July. And we got net long on those, and those were working quite nice. Now, let's take a look at the gap open down list. We have some stocks in here. Riverbed reported earnings last night. Uh, good technology company, but Europe is slow, and so the revenues were slower over there, down $9. The earnings were so-so, but the guidance wasn't any good. We got FFIV gapping down today. It's coming out after the close on the earnings. We got So the ones that miss get tortured during the earnings season MMTs so this is the gap open down on the NASDAQ now so we'll be watching that FFIB we'll do our analysis look for that left elbow gap down on that FFIB it will report earnings closed at 118.65 currently at 115.50 left elbow gap down spinning off to the right side 369.12 to the uh, resistance line and a profit objective with an execution off the left elbow and selling into resistance and ringing the register on the left elbow these are the ones that miss their earnings they do not get rewarded FFIB is just going to pull back before that report comes out today last quarter they did fairly decent we'll talk about that later here's your gap open that ISRG it's very volatile but a very good one to trade and last night when it hit its earnings and gapped up there was a short on the high pullback you get out um, all of you have learned the after hours trade this is the pre-market trade so you're learning how to trade before the opening bell and after the opening bell during during the earnings season and how to short over bought gaps 